welcome back to my channel. My name is Sarah and if you're new here, I make videos all about faith, intercultural relationships, and Arab culture in general. I'd love if you would consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any of my future videos. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps me out. So as some of you may know, uh, my husband is Jordanian and we lived in Jordan for a while. He lived there his whole life and I lived there for about a year. And while I was there, I just picked up some of the local mannerisms and gestures and just things that Jordanians do. I have actually moved back to the US now with my husband, but there are still a bunch of Jordanian things that I have kept doing. So I thought I would just share a few of those with you. Yeah, so let's jump into it. So the first thing that I picked up in Jordan and have continued doing is this motion. So in Jordan, this means like, hold on, wait a minute. Um, we don't do this in the US, but it's really useful. And in connection with this same motion, um, I've noticed that I'll say, um, which is like, wait a little bit, or hold on. Another one is Dagiga, which I think is actually from Palestine, because uh, my husband's family are Palestinian in background. Um, his grandparents moved to Jordan. And so I've continued saying it. And now, like, even with my son, like, if he's fussing or crying or something, I'll be like, Dagiga, it's done a Like, hold on, I'm coming. So it's really useful. The next thing I've noticed that I picked up is when I like to eat my meals. In America, people tend to eat breakfast kind of early, lunch at 12 or one, and then dinner at five or six. But in Jordan, people tend to eat breakfast at 10 or 11 in the morning, and then lunch at two or three, and then have dinner at eight, nine even. And I don't know, I just fell into that habit too, and I really like it. It's just, it feels like a more relaxed way to to eat your meals. Though actually now that my husband is in the US and he's working kind of a traditional nine to five schedule, he is actually eating his meals at American times and I'm at home with our baby and I'm eating meals at Jordanian times more often. So the next thing that I've picked up is actually a sound. It's the sound or we make this sound in the US but it means like I'm thinking or like I'm considering like when someone asks you a question you're like hmm I don't know but in Jordan it's like a disapproving sound my husband would make this sound to me like when we were talking about something like expressing our opinions he would make this sound and I'm like what are you thinking about I don't understand he's like no no I disagree I'm I'm disagreeing with what you're saying and I was like oh weird okay but now i've actually started making that sound so like if we have an argument or a disagreement like we're both making the sound back and forth to each other the final thing that i picked up is it's something i don't do as well as i would like but i'm trying to get better at it because i love this about jordanian culture it's like having the host mindset and what i mean by that is jordanians are amazing at welcoming you to their home and taking care of you and just really making you feel welcomed and cared for and they just love having you in their home. I feel like Americans in some ways are a little bit more isolated and not as friendly and welcoming to everyone, like maybe to their close friends, their immediate neighbors, but Jordanians just welcome anyone pretty much. Like you could be a stranger on the street and if they like strike up a conversation and you're having a good time just chatting, like they want you to come to their home and it's awesome. So now that we're back in the US, I think it's important to, to show love to your neighbors and to really care for them as though they were a member of your family almost, like just to make them feel loved and accepted when they come to your home. It's one that I don't do perfectly, but I'm hoping I can continue to get better and better at. So I know that there are a ton of other Jordanian gestures and mannerisms and just cultural things that I didn't mention. So if you think that I missed any really important ones or there's some that you think I should add into my daily life, let me know in the comments. And if you've experienced the ones that I did talk about, please let me know. Until next time, bye.